All right, so GLP-1 agonist, that stands for glucagon-like peptide 1 agonist. These are chemicals that mimic a gut hormone that acts on the brain and peripheral areas of the body to decrease hunger and to promote feelings of fullness. Now, it turns out that that same hormone acts on the pleasure centers of the brain, which release dopamine when we intake um, really rich food or when we have sex or when we take addictive drugs. And what they do is they sort of dampen the response to addictive chemicals. So if you watch my other content about neurobiology, you know I talk about areas like the nucleus accumbens and the ventral tegmental area quite a bit. And it turns out, again, that what GLP-1 agonists like Manjaro, like Ozempic do, is they decrease the response of those areas of the brain when we take in an addictive chemical. And what that does over time is that it also reduces cravings for those chemicals because our brain gets the point that it's not going to get the same reward. And once that pattern becomes evident, um, the strength of cravings gets less less and less. So there's some really promising early evidence that GLP-1 agonists can help significantly with addiction treatment, okay? So in rodent models that have investigated this, um, self-administration of drugs from alcohol and cocaine to opioids and nicotine has consistently been decreased in the rodents that were taking semaglutide or another GLP-1 agonist. Also, Q-induced reinstatement, which is a model of relapse, was reduced as well and um, sort of shortened if, if the mice did respond to the cue with use. Okay, so these are pretty consistent um, results and they're really promising. Now, now we only have very limited human evidence at this point. So all of this comes with a big helping of, uh, you know, we need to wait and see. But there is evidence that uh, semaglutide use and use of other GLP-1 agonists has reduced alcohol craving as well as actual alcohol use in people with um, drinking problems. It's also, um, we, we have a, a functional MRI study that shows that there are reduced brain responses to alcohol cues and lower self-reported craving when people take these GLP-1 um, receptor agonists. So really promising stuff. Um, but again, some, some key caveats, including the fact that, you know, our major problem in the U.S. right now is opioid addiction, far and away that's causing the most uh, morbidity and mortality. And th these GLP-1 agonists will not remove physical dependence and withdrawal. So they can help with craving to get you through through the, the physical uh, dependence and the weaning off without relapse, but they cannot actually take away your dependence. So that's one huge caveat. So I've got a full video coming up on this topic. If you guys are interested, thank you so much for listening.